Hey YouTube, this is Pokemon Masters here, back with another video. And this is going to be kind of a two-in-one duo video. Just doing a quick little update and a video. And the video, what are Pokemon theme decks? So, the update part. You guys are able to send us free cards because I had someone who is going to send me free cards, which I thought was cool. So, yeah, so I guess now you guys can send me free cards, I guess. I doubt anybody will really want to do it, but hey, whatever, might as well put a video on it. Anyway, though, to the main point in this video, what is a Pokemon theme deck? Well, Pokemon theme deck is pretty much just a deck, but it's an alternative instead of making your own deck and putting it in a deck box like the one I have right here. So I'll just open this up. I actually have a couple of theme decks in here. Or theme deck and a couple cards. This one happens to be my favorite theme deck that I have. This particular theme deck right here. But I do have more than one theme deck. Definitely. Let's see. I'm only guessing I can fit two in the picture. But I do have way more. Anyway though, Pokemon theme deck actually comes with a variety of things. Um, you get 60 trading, or 60, yeah, 60 trading cards, um, or it's a playable card, a theme deck, a coin, in this particular deck, I actually got a Mega Gengar coin, in that Eveltal deck, I think I got a Xerneas coin, here it is, but it just kind of varies by what set it's from, anyway though, so I'll open it up here and pretty much show you guys the cards inside. Another thing that you guys get is damage counters, two um, condition markers, and a set of the whole set that it's from, or a list of the whole of the set that it's from. So I'll just go over the card. You get your promo card, which in this case is a Talonflame Hollow, and it is directly from the set actually. I'll try to focus on that there. camera focus there we go 10 out of 119 so it's directly from the set it's not a promo or anything but it's just it's got that special theme deck glass glassy pattern so we've got first up talon flame that's our promo i guess you could call it another one of those we've got i believe three fletchenders two fletchenders a four line of Fletchlings, two Litleos, which evolves into this Pyroar. This Pyroar is actually a pretty good card for only being stage one. Going on, we got a couple Swaddles, three of them, and then a sw two Swaddle Moons, two Yon Megas, a Venomat, and let me try and focus on that. So Venonet, sorry for any background noise you guys may be experiencing. We actually got a couple of those. A Venom Mouth, we got one of those. A Care Blast, two of those. Wismer, and we've got one of those. Two Loudrids, which is the evolution from Wismer. Chansey, at first look, this card looks amazing. It's basic, it's colorless, it's got 100 hit points. And it does 100 damage for just 3 energies, but if you look really close, here I'll set these other cards down. There's a 2-2 two -two line of this, by the way. If you look really close to where you can read this, it says, If you don't have exactly 7 cards in your hand, this attack does nothing. So if you don't have 7 cards in your hand, chance it. Whoa, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> if you don't have 7 cards in your um, hand... Chansey is pretty much, it's a goner, it's worthless. So anyway, like I said, 2-2 two, two line of that. We've got some grass energies, I don't know how many. Like eight grass energies. we got some fire energies. We've got ten grass, or ten fire energies right there. Now we're on to the, our trainers and supporters and whatnot. So first up is a Professor Sycamore, and this one is discard your hand and draw seven cards, so it can actually be kind of useful if you don't have any good cards in your hand. 
We've got a couple Evo sodas, I think. Or maybe one. So, search your card for a deck that evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon. This counts as evolving that Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So, you can't use this card during your first turn or... Or... But... Or on a Pokemon that was just in play. So... That card can be useful. I mean, say you got Charizard EX. You want to get that Mega Charizard, you know. Anyway, though, roller skates. If you draw, if you flip a coin, you get heads. Draw three cards. Whatever. Hell yeah, it was heads. <laughs> so, lots of these trainers can be useful. Good. This one's just draw three cards. Pokemon Fan Club. A Pokemon Center Lady. Ultra Ball. I really do want the secret rare one of this. I believe it's from Plasma Blast. I cannot know if anybody has that. I'm willing to pay cash for it. Cash for it or um trade for my secret rare dive ball. Or whatever offer you guys make. So potion. You always get a potion. No matter what theme deck you get, you're more than likely to get a potion. Because heals 30 damage from one of your Pokemon. Professor's Letter. I've got a couple of those. It says, search your deck for up to two basic energy cards. Reveal them and put them, put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck af afterwards. So you got a 2-2 two -two line of those. Trick coin. It says, once during your turn, after you flip any coins for an attack on that Pokemon this card is attached to, you may ignore all effects of those coin flips and begin flipping those coins again. You may only use the effects... That lets you flip coins again, including effects from other cards, once during your turn. So that's pretty much what Trick Coin does. And then, our last but not least card, trainer and supporter card, this whole entire deck, is a Shauna. And that's just a pretty basic trainer card. See right there, it says, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards. So... It can be pretty useful too, those trainers and stuff. They're oh they can always be useful, but so that's pretty much explaining what a Pokemon theme deck is. Um if you're just a collector like me, they're not always the best, but still Pokemon cards, so it's definitely worth it. You get sixty cards for about twelve ninety nine is what theme decks cost in stores. So and you can get them cheaper for like Sometimes down to like seven dollars, which in like this Evelto deck cost me seven dollars off of Dave and Adam's card world. So definitely leave a link for that down in the description below because those are always great. Hit good deals, but otherwise, they usually cost you around twelve ninety nine at stores. Gas stations that have Pokemon cards, such as the Casey's General Store that I got this theme deck from, usually cost like $13.99. A little worse on the spendy side, but this is just two of my many, many, many theme decks. I actually might have more in this case back here. I'll check for you guys. I don't know exactly where all of my theme decks are at or whatnot, but trust me, I've way more. Here's another one right here. Here's another one right here. Here's another one right here. Here's another one. This is just the start, guys. <laughs> Trust me, I have tons of theme decks. So, now that I got that all out, this video should be about 10 minutes long if I'm right. So, that's just a couple decks right there. I've also got the Xerneas and Evelta battling decks, which do have, I think, three rare foil cards, which is pretty good, and all the energies are reverse hollow. So, just put these back like this. Here's all of them right here. I'll try and see if I can get that in shot for you guys. There they are right there. And that's not all of them. If you guys want me to start doing theme deck openings on YouTube, definitely let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.
please comment, rate, subscribe.